In this question, we're told that the curve C1 is defined by x cubed plus 2x cos y plus y squared plus 1 plus pi squared over 4. We are asked to find the value of dy by dx at the point 1 pi by 2. Okay, so this question is all about implicit differentiation. To, so what we're going to do is we're going to differentiate each term in this equation implicitly. It's worth noticing before we start that this term here is a product of a function of x and y, so we're going to need to use the product rule to differentiate it. So I'm just going to start off actually by doing that differentiation as a side. So I'm just going to say u is the 2x, which means du by dx equals 2, and then I'm going to say that v equals cos y, so that dv by dx will be minus sine y and remember to multiply by dy by dx. So now I'm going to differentiate this function implicitly. Differentiating x cubed I get 3x squared. Differentiating 2x cos y I get, so first of all v du by dx. So just plan ahead, tidy it up, it doesn't have to be cos y times 2, we can do 2 times cos y so that it's a nice neat term as soon as I write it, so I get 2 cos y. And then I'm going to cross multiply again. And so I'm going to say, okay, well, 2x times minus sine y dy by dx. Think about how it might tidy up nicely. I'm going to lead with this minus. I'm then going to lead with 2x as a coefficient of the trigonometric function sine y, all multiplied by dy by dx. Finally, I'm going to differentiate y squared. Differentiated y squared, we get 2y. And then remember to multiply it by dy by dx. And on the right-hand side, we have a constant. So when I differentiate that, I can leave it as 0. Now what I'm going to do in this now is I'm going to rearrange it to isolate dy by dx on one side. Uh, in fact, because the only negative term in this expression contains a dy by dx, I'm going to take all the do these two dy by dx terms over to the left-hand side. And just, to, uh, just so that the expression that I get is a little bit neater. So dy by dx, and then I'm going to add the 2y dy by dx. So what we're going to get left with is 3x squared plus 2 cos y is equal to. Now, I'm not only going to take these two terms across the other side, uh, just notice that this should be a minus there, so I'll just quickly correct that. And not only am I going to take these two terms across the other side, what I'm going to do is I am going to factorize them. So I'm going to take the dy by dx out as a common factor. So I'm going to get dy by dx. And inside the bracket, I'm going to get left with 2x sine y minus 2y. So now I can divide both sides by 2x sine y minus 2y. And I'm going to reverse the sides as well. So now what I'm going to get is dy by dx is equal to 3x squared plus 2 cos y over 2x sine y minus 2y. And so now we have an expression for dy by dx. At this point, I'm going to substitute in the values to find a gradient at this point. So what I want to do is I want to substitute in x equals 1 and y equals pi by 2 so that we get that the gradient dy by dx is equal to 3 times 1 squared plus 2 lots of cos of pi by 2 all over 2 times 1 times sine of pi by 2 uh, it's not a minus plus there it's a minus minus 2 times pi by 2 so just tidying this up now, dy by dx is equal to, I get 3 times 1, which is 3. I get 2 times cos of pi by 2. Cos of pi by 2 is 0. So on the num numerator, I get 3 plus 0, which is 3. And then in the denominator, I get 2 times sine of pi by 2. Sine of pi by 2 is 1. So I get 2 times 1 is 2. And then minus 2 times pi over 2 will just leave me with pi. At that point, I'm just going to leave it as an exact value.
Okay then, so let's move on and have a look at part B. Part B says the curve C2 is such that dy by dx is x squared times y. Find an expression for d2y by dx squared in terms of x and y and simplify your answer. Okay, well the first thing to note here again is that this is a product of two functions. So I'm just going to start off by saying that u equals x squared and use the product rule on it. So du by dx equals 2x. Next, we'll say that v equals y. So dv by dx will be equal to 1 dy by dx. So in fact, when I differentiate this and I do the second derivative, d2y by dx squared, what I get is v du, so we're going to get 2xy. Remember, plan ahead again, put the out terms algebraically in order, put the coefficient 2 at the, as a, the leading term. And then I'm going to get plus x squared times 1 dy by dx, so it's just going to be x squared dy by dx. Now, I don't actually want to have a second derivative here in terms of dy by dx, so what I'm now going to do is I'm just going to substitute dy by dx for this initial definition of dy by dx. So we're going to say, okay, well, d2y by dx squared is equal to 2xy plus x squared times x squared y. And so this will tidy up and give us d2y by dx squared is equal to 2xy plus x to the power of 4y. Okay then. So let's have a look to see how the marks were awarded in this question. Okay. Initially, if you've got the 3x squared correct and the, co the constants differentiating to be 0 correct, then you get one standalone mark. If you have got that the product term 2x cos y has differentiated to give you 2 cos y minus 2x sine y dy by dx, you get another standalone mark. And then finally, you get a third standalone mark if you get that y squared differentiates to give you 2y dy by dx. So that is another standalone mark. Finally, once you've worked through everything, the final answer mark or final standalone mark is given actually just forgetting that the derivative is 3 over 2 minus pi. Remember, when you're working on this question, you must make sure your calculator is in radians in order to evaluate these correctly if you're not confident doing it without a calculator. Looking at part B, part B, uh, what we get is a standalone mark if you get to this line where you've differentiated to get the second derivative is 2xy plus x squared plus dy by dx. Next, there is a method mark for substituting in the value, for, uh, the expression for dy by dx. And finally, there is an answer mark if you have got to the correct uh, expression not involving any values of dy by dx. Okay, well, I hope the solution made sense and that you were able to follow how to mark your work.